Sculptures, paintings, artifacts. No, you're not in a big city museum. You're at the airport. With travel being more stressful nowadays, it became such a natural to also create a sense of place and calm for passengers and comfort. But it's also a sense of identity and a point of pride. That's why more and more airports are highlighting art in their terminals, like Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. We're kind of a welcome mat to the city. I mean, we're, we're showcasing not only the culture, but uh, you know, the sophistication of our city. We partner with museum institutions, both local and national and some international, to bring in high quality exhibits of art and artifacts. Temporary exhibits range from self-taught local artists to artwork done by Georgia school children. They've also created an interactive art installation to tell the story of Atlanta. From the founding of Atlanta around the railroad to the rebirth after the destruction of uh, the Civil War, they can really walk away with a, a good understanding of Atlanta's rich history. Giant mosaic medallions lead the way through the terminals at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, along with large interactive art structures to entertain passengers. It's integrated and you walk through it past it, experience it as you go. There's a podcast in which you can download from iTunes to experience the art program one work by one. With one of the longest running airport art programs, Phoenix Sky Harbor International's collection has grown to more than 700 pieces over 25 years, and they are in the process of becoming museum accredited. They've built a special gallery to highlight exhibits from local artists, which has also taken off with local residents. We had many people call and say, what's at the airport today? Where can we eat? Where can we go? What's some of the exciting things happening? To celebrate their new art installations, Lambert International Airport in St. Louis kicked it old style with a disco-themed party. Some of the local artists were on hand to show off their handiwork. Taking away from that land experience of what can be just sort of the drudgery of travel, I think in these in-between spaces you can have an aesthetic experience and sort of a, a tiny hint of the other magic that lays within the city. We thought if we could use the talent that we have with local artists, that, and, and we are known for some of the artists that we have in this region, that that would really highlight both the connectivity to the city as well as to the people. And it's a great way for a city to say, hello, this is who we are, and goodbye, we hope you'll come again. Holly for First CNN.